Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about barrel shifter. So before going to barrel shifter, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so that we can get connected. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I will respond within 24 hours. So now let's go with the barrel shifter. What's a barrel shifter? So barrel shifter is a digital circuit that can shift or rotate a data word by a specific number of bits without use of a sequential logic gates. That means a barrel shifter is a combinational circuit. Okay, so barrel shifter is used to shift or rotate a specific number of bits in the modern microprocessors. So why are we using it in a modern microprocessor? Because it takes a single cycle, understand this, it takes a single cycle to shift or rotate n bits. That means that is pretty fast, okay? So I can give an example where it is used. It is used in the ARM processor along with ALU, okay? Now let us see an example of a four bit barrel shifter which can perform the operation rotate right. So I'm gonna discuss uh, how to rotate right using a barrel shifter using a design with 2 is to 1 multiplexer, a design with a 4 is to 1 multiplexer, and a design with a transistor. So we are gonna see the three of them. So now let us go with a 4 bit barrel shifter which is gonna rotate right using 2 is to 1 multiplexers. So this is a barrel shifter which can perform the operation rotate right. So this is a 4 bit barrel shifter. So now let us look at it how it works. So as you can see we have a four multiplexers over here and a four multiplexers over here. So this multiplexers will perform a certain operations and this multiplexers will perform a certain operations. So K1 is a select line for this all multiplexers, K0 is a select line for all this multiplexers. So now first let us look at this multiplexers and go for this multiplexers. So what is the operation performed by this multiplexers? So let us see it. So when K1 is zero, that means the select line is zero for this multiplexers. So every multiplexer has a select line K1. So what happens is that when K1 is zero, P0 is A0, P1 is A1, P2 is A2, and P3 is A3. So that's what's happened when K1 is zero. What happens when K1 is one? So P0 is getting A2, and P1 is getting A3, P2 is getting A0, and P3 is getting A1. So that's the basic operation of multiplexer. So, but as you can see, a one important note is that A0 position has been taken by A2 and A1 position has been taken by A3. This happens when we shift the data, okay? When we shift the data by two, if it's a four bit, if we shift the data by two, then A2 will come at A0 and A3 will come at A1. So the remaining two bits are being occupied by A0 and A1. So this four multiplexers will perform an operation of a rotate right okay rotate right by two when k1 is zero what's the output p0 is a0 p1 is a1 p2 is a2 and p3 is a3 so there is no shift in the operation just a normal no operation so when k1 is one so what is the operation we are going to perform we are going to perform rotate right by two that means a2 has been shifted by two so a2 is first one and then a3 and then A0 and then A1. I hope you get it. And I'm taking the combinations of K1 and K2. K0, okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0, and 1, 1. So now let us go what happens with the K0 multiplexers. So as you can see, this is used to perform rotate right by two, and this will perform rotate right by one, because when K0 is zero, P0, P1, P2, and P3 will be transferred to Y0, Y1, and Y2, and Y2 respectively. Now, when K0 is one, we are getting Y0 as P1, Y1 as P2, Y2 as P3, and Y3 as P0. Okay, so this is used to perform rotate right by one. So now let us see the truth table, what's happening when K0 is zero and K0 is one. So K0 is zero, that means it will transfer P0 first, that is A0, and next Y1 equals to AP1, and Y2 equals to P2, and Y3 equals to P3. So when K0 is one, then Y0 is equals to P1. So Y0 equals to P1, Y1 equal to P2, and Y2 equal to P3, and Y3 is equal to P0. So it is P1, P2, P3, and Y3 will be equals to A0. So now let us see with this one, since it's K equals to zero, it will pass on directly, that is A2, A3, A0, and A1. Okay, now it's one, so first we will get P1, P1 data, then after P2 data, then after P3 data, and then at last we will get P0 data. 
So I hope you, that's clear for you based on the truth table. So now let us look at the operations performed when K1 and K0 are zero. That is no operation is performed, no shift are performed, whatever the input is A0, A1, A2 and A3 are perfectly aligned. Now if we say that K1 is zero and K0 is zero, as you can see A1 is shifted right and A0 is rotated. So this operation is rotate right by one. So again A2 is being shifted over here by two bits and A0 and A1 are rotated. So this is rotate right by two. So this is A3 has been shifted by three bits and A0, A1 and A2 are rotated. So it is rotate right by three. So by this, by this you might understand that this multiplexers is performing operations of rotate right, rotate right by one, two and three. Okay, this is a logarithmic barrel shifter. Okay, as you can see, now let us consider how many multiplexers do we need to perform this four bit. So let's say we have an n bit data and we want to design using 2 is to 1 multiplexers, how many multiplexers? We require n log 2 n multiplexers. Let's say if we have 4 as n, that is 4 bit data, that is 4 into log 2 of n, that is 4 equals to 8. So we require 8 2 is to 1 multiplexers to for a 4 bit. Okay, that's what we got. As you can see, that's what we got 8 multiplexers. Now let's say we want uh, 8 bit data. So for 8-bit data, we require 24 2 is to 1 multiplexers. Okay, 24, that's too much. So we require 24 2 is to 1 multiplexers. So one more important thing to note about this is that, see, as you have seen that 4 is 2 power 2. In, in terms of power of 2, 4 is 2 power 2. So we are using 2 power 0 and 2 power 1. Now, if you want to build an 8-bit barrel shifter, we are going to use 2 power 2, 2 power 1 and 2 power 0 okay so this is to build an 8-bit barrel shifter i'm going to give an example using 2 is to 1 multiplexer so we will be having connections like that this is not the exact connections but this 2 is to 1 multiplexers there will be 8 over here 8 over here 8 over here so but this multiplexers will perform an operation of uh, rotate right by 4 and this one will perform rotate right on 2 and this one will perform rotate right by 1 if it then rotate right operation rotate left this will be 4 this will be 4 this will be 2 and 1 okay in that fashion it is in logarithmic fashion as you can see if you want to go for 16 then we will have number of multiplexers will increase but the logic remains the same you know we will use lesser bits that is 2 part 8 2 part 3 so it is 2 part 3 2 part 2 2 part 1 and 2 part 0 if we were going for 16 if you are going for 32, we are not going to use 2 power 5, we are going to use from 2 power 4 to 2 power 0. That's how we are going to use. So this is going to perform uh, shift, uh, shift by 8 or rotate by 8, rotate or shift by 4, rotate or shift by 2, and rotate or shift by 1. I hope this, is, this might be a confusing one for you, but if you design it, that will be an easy task for you to do it. So now let us look how a 4-bit barrel shifter is performed using a 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So this is a four bed barrel shifter, the same rotate right operation. So as you can see Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3 are there with the select lines K1 and K0 for each multiplexers. So what's the change in here? There is nothing changed. We have used the outputs which we got from our multiplexers and given as the inputs for each multiplexers. As you can see A0, A, A0 like this you can see A3, A0 and A1 has been given to Y3. So A3, A0 and A1 sorry 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 a3 a0 a1 and a2 has been given to the inputs for y3 so now for y2 this is the y2 column a2 a3 a0 and a1 a2 a3 a0 and a1 and so on for y0 let's consider a0 a1 and a2 and a3 so a0 a1 a2 and a3 so these are being given as the inputs so this is a clear diagram as you can see it looks better than 2 is to 1 multiplexers but you know that as we go on if we keep on increasing the multiplexers size it will be a problem so mostly you must use 4 is to 1 or 8 is to 1 that's it not more than that then that it will be a problem so you must learn how to design using 2 is to 1 multiplexers for sure so this is how it is done now let's go for a shift right arithmetic barrel shifter example of a barrel shifter which is shifting arithmetic right okay 
don't be confused by the big diagram it is nothing big it's a simple small circuit which is using a pass gate logic so as you can see we have inputs sh0 sh1 and sh2 and sh3 to decide the arithmetic shift and the inputs are a0 a1 and a2 and a3 the select lines are mutually exclusive that means if sh0 is turned on other three will be turned off sh1 is turned on sh0 sh2 and sh3 will be off so this happens so now let us this is shift right arithmetic it's not shift rotate right okay this is shift right arithmetic so what are the operations will be performed when shift right arithmetic is performed so let's say when sh1 is selected so sh1 is selected as you can see the path is like this okay this path there you go there you go and sh0 path is like this so now let us go with sh0 so when sh0 is selected as you can see it is connected to a0 so we'll get b0 as a0 so these are buffers which will use to store the data that's it so b0 is a0 and when sh0 is high so b1 will be a1 so as you can see a1 is selected and b2 will be a2 and b3 will be a3 and so on okay if you get more if the number of bits increase so now let us go with sh1 when sh1 is selected there is an important thing is that we are sending b0 as a1 okay and b1 as a2 and b2 as a3 and b3 as a3 here as you can see over here it should be a0 if it, it were rotate but it is not rotating it is shifting right by arithmetic so we need to extend the sign so the sign is extended over here a3 now let's go for sh2 sh2 is here so it is b0 as a2 and b1 as a wait, a3 so b1 as a3 so now what will be b2 and b3 it will be a3 and a3 because we are shifting right arithmetically okay arithmetic means we need to take care of the sign so a3 is there and sh3 it will be all a3 because we have decided it like that so that's what happening okay i hope you guess this was a very fast one uh, shifting right arithmetic so i'm concluding it right here so this is how you can design using a 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 4 is to 1 multiplexer, so barrel shifter. I hope you got a brief idea about the barrel shifters. And if you want more brief idea on rotating left and shift and rotate at the same time, so I'm going to make a series of videos for you. And please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And one more thing, like this video, because YouTube is going to not show you if you don't like this video. And thanks for watching from my bottom of my heart. I hope it's helpful for you. Let's meet once again.